The Blazers have made back-to-back -back trades that make no sense for Damian Lillard, which means there are a lot more trades coming from them. They dealt CJ McCollum, Larry Nance Jr., and Tony Snell to New Orleans for a package around Josh Hart and Akil Alexander-Walker and picks. Woj then tweeted, Portland plans to reshape their roster around Dame. This means the Blazers will go after one or two All-Stars this summer, and I think we can guess who those guys will be. But Portland is so lucky to have Damian Lillard. Every star outside of, like, Dirk would have demanded a trade at this point. But not Dame. He's given them big moments in the playoffs, game winners against the Rockets or the Thunder. In return, he has gotten no all-star teammates outside of LaMarcus Aldridge. The guy behind Basketball Reference tweeted that Dame and CJ scored 20 points in 193 games. The second most is Steph and Clay, 186 times. Great! Who cares? What did that ever do for them? What happened when Steph Clay, Damon CJ played in the 2019 West Finals? Portland got swept. So I love that they got rid of CJ McCollum. I don't love what they got back for him, but again, big moves could be coming and it could all make sense. Other people disagree. They say Hart and Nikhil have great promise, but I'm just a fan of fun basketball. Have you seen where the Pelicans are in the standings? 10th place. How much fun will it be when Zion gets healthy and they go for a playoff run? LeBron and AD or Carl Anthony Towns playing Zion and CJ in the play-in tournament. I love it. CJ fits great next to Zion and Brandon Ingram. He doesn't take shots inside of the paint. According to Cleaning the Glass, he takes just 17% of his shots at the rim, 41% from mid-range and 42% from three, and he is super efficient. That is crucial because Zion basically lives in the paint. You you cannot get a point guard who also drives to the rim a lot. Zion takes 81% at the rim. Earlier this offseason, the Pels were trying to get Kyle Lowry or CP3. Those guys are more talented, but I think CJ is actually a better fit. Some people will say that CJ is overpaid. Not really. He's got just two years left on his deal, $68 million. If he's not a great fit, he's an expiring contract in 2023. There are really three things that the Pelicans need. Shot creation, scoring, and defense. And CJ fits two of those three perfect. This is basically a short-term move to save David Griffin's job, the GM, and to make Zion happy. I am sure he hates the day that New Orleans drafted him. He's been injured most of the time, while other guys like John Morant or even RJ Barrett in that top three of his draft class have taken off. Normally when guys are injured, they start to doubt themselves, they start to doubt their team. That all changes when they're making a playoff run with CJ McCollum, and Larry Nance Jr. is a really underrated part of this deal. But more important, what does this mean for Dame and the Blazers? Portland still plans to build around Dame. They actually have some really intriguing assets after trading Norm and CJ. They have Anthony Simons. If you can trade him for an all-star, you do it. Keon Johnson, Josh Hart, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, a 20 $1 million trade exception, good for a whole year. Potentially $60 million in cap space. The Pels 2022 protected first and their own first. And that last one could be really valuable. The Blazers should tank to get the highest pick possible. We will not see Dame on the court the rest of the year. Listen to what he said when he was asked about it. I mean, well, if we're going to play for a draft pick, it wouldn't... It wouldn't make sense for me to, because <laughs> I'm not going to play for no draft. Like, I'm, I'm just not capable of that. So, you know, it would be best if that was what we was doing, then it wouldn't make sense for me to, to play. Now imagine if the Blazers end with a top three pick. The top three choices are Chet Holmgren, Paolo Banchero, and Jabari Smith. All three would be a number one asset in a huge trade for an all-star. Today's video is sponsored by Fission Energy Drinks, and I am super excited that they wanted to sponsor this channel because I am super excited about energy drinks. I have drank like one energy drink a day for a long, long time, but I'm always looking for a new brand. And when I checked out Fission, they solved a lot of problems. Number one, they have this cool dial on the top. It releases flavor and caffeine because different people like different amounts of caffeine. Some people are an 80 milligram type person like Red Bull. Some are like a 300 milligram. But whatever kind of energy drink you want, this will do it with the dial. I've tried all the flavors. They're all awesome, but right now I'm on Blue Magic, probably top two. The way it works is it comes with this bottle and then it comes with this cartridge. And all you do, it's simple, fill it up with water, screw on the cartridge, and you're done. 
And what I really like about this bottle is it provides you like any other energy drink, but you don't have to carry around one of those like really lame looking cans, you know, all energy drink cans that looks like a comic book in a can. Sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little embarrassing to be walking around in like maybe a professional setting with one of those cans. There's just something that feels off about it. But with a fission bottle, it looks awesome. Click the link in the description for 10% off your first order of fission energy drinks. Thanks again so much to fission. That combined with potentially two max salary spots and we could see a legit big three with Dane. So here's a list of players that they could target in a trade if they land a top three pick. Demonis Sabonis, Jeremy Grant, Ben Simmons, Kyrie Irving, Kristaps Porzingis, Jalen Brown, and Donovan Mitchell. Some people will disagree with some of those names, but a lot can change by the end of the season. If the Celtics and the Jazz flame out, things could go south for Jalen Brown and Donovan Mitchell. As for the Nets and Mavs dealing KP and Kyrie, they obviously don't want the Blazers' young assets and picks. It would need to be a three team deal, but they have to be included. But the most important thing is for Dame to sit out to have the best chance to get a top three pick, or they can forget about trading for any of those guys. Then we have to look at free agency because they will have almost $60 million in cap space by saving money on the Norm and CJ trades. Some of that could go to re-signing Anthony Simons if they don't trade him, but that still leaves enough to attract at least one max player. The potential free agents this summer, James Harden, Bradley Beal, or Zach Levine. And I think we can take Zach off that list, but Harden and Beal have not committed past this season. The problem is Portland has never been able to attract star free agents. Dame will have to recruit these guys, and if he can't, Dame should demand a trade. But I have seen people saying Dame to the Lakers. That is insane, but people are saying it for two reasons. Number one, a report came out that said if Dame leaves, he wants to stay on the West Coast. Number two, what Dame just said to LeBron on IG Live. My and King James and his Brian was happening. Hey, bro, make that call, bro. Tell her. Tell them they need to make a decision, bruh. <laughs> okay, Dame, that is great, but it is literally impossible. Look, I know I come up with some really dumb trades, but I do know this. LA has to match Dame's salary because they don't have any cap space. Dame makes about 40 million bucks. The only players outside of LeBron that make that, AD and Russ. Are the Lakers gonna trade AD? No. Does Russell Westbrook for Damian Lillard make sense? No, even in a three-team deal. Oh, what if they cobbled together a bunch of salaries to get to 40 million bucks? Even if they put every single contract outside of their big three together, it looks like this. Do you wanna get clowned on Twitter? Post that as a potential trade. The Blazers will build around Dame this summer and the Pels will make a really fun playoff run if Zion gets healthy. I love this trade. Both teams were boring as hell before this. And besides that, we have been begging the Blazers to do something for years, right? For Damian Lillard. And for years in the offseason, they've just made trades that made no impact. Now, finally, they are going for it. But I just had a look at the other last minute trades that could go down before this deadline. If you're watching this video and the deadline hasn't come, which is February 10th at three Eastern, check this video out for some bangers. Outside of that Miles Turner one, I kind of regret that. We just had a rumor that said it could be Goran Dragic and a first to the Raptors for Miles Turner. Outside of that, it's a great video.